they they said that uh, they were willing to cancel the deal and just to start over because they felt like the amount that I was down was like an insurmountable amount of money. The thing is, for me, my word and making a fair deal for everyone, I don't care how rich anyone is, are really the most important things to me. So if someone invests in me and I have a big losing year in one year when the stakes are high anyway, I mean, I was in Asia playing 300K buy-ins, 100K buy-ins to lose like 3.5 million isn't even crazy over a year span or so, a year and a quarter span or so at those stakes. Really, I just couldn't accept that. So before they could even get the words out, I said, there's no chance I could accept that. You know, let's just keep the makeup and don't worry. I'm going to be number one in the world again this year. At the time, which is crazy to realize in 2017, when you won this final table, it was one of your biggest, it wasn't the biggest, but it was one of your biggest scores at the time. And it's crazy to think about that since then, so much has changed. You are now the all-time money list leader with 56 million in earnings. Of course, you won that insane Triton event. Um, um, go back in time a little bit to where you were at in your mindset back in 2017. So what happened in 2017? So in 2016, I actually got screwed over horribly and, you know, went to sleep one night thinking that I was a millionaire and came back from like starting that year with like no, nothing or a small, small amount of money, building it up to like a million dollars. I thought I had more money coming into me. I wound up just getting screwed instead and going to sleep one night thinking I'm a millionaire and actually waking up the next day as a negative millionaire. So, <laughs> you know, pretty much what you have to tell yourself though, always through tough things in life, and you could adjust that to everything in life, is the past is over and you could be, all that you can do is act your best and do your best from this moment forward to and act inside a positive or the future that you want to see. So when you go to bed a millionaire and you wake up stuck a million, what happened in those eight hours? I mean, was there was there an investment thing that went wrong or? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there was an investment thing that went wrong and it just, was, it looked like, you know, a lot of money was coming in. Instead, no money came in and I made a bad deal there. I was stupid and really myself, but you know, that it was just like because I kept making mistakes over and over again in the regard of money and trusting people too much. So it was like if you're going to keep making the same mistakes in life, life is just going to keep hitting you harder and harder with that same direction until you actually learn and you're able to adjust your your game plan, I guess, going forward as opposed to just continuing in that cycle. So what, what's the what's the lowest point you've been at in your career? Like, are there certain days or moments that stand out where you're like, wow, I, I can't believe it ever got this bad? Well, I just always really train my mind. I mean, that's always the real thought that exists. But I mean, I always trained my mind to not be bothered by the past and really did a good job about it because I kind of, always thought that if you allow yourself affected no matter what bad situation you're in right now you're just not going to be able to put in your best self going forward so it's like even during those toughest moments i would be mentally strong where you know on in that one i was in london at the time and i just told myself that you know you have to just accept the past and move on and i always told myself that i was very good at accepting the past and moving on and that's another tricky thing if you tell if you really if you put those words out there and say that you're very good at something, just prepare to be tested at that. And, you know, we might be tested when no one's looking and that might be like the real tests in life. And, you know, I just said, I told myself that I saw, I, locked, I pretty much went, I got a nice apartment for a week and told myself uh, after, by when the week was over, I just had to leave the apartment and just forget about it and move forward and just do the best that I could. And just, you know, accept that it might take me two, three years to get out of it and, you know, just accept that and at the same time clear my mind and be focused on just where I had to go as opposed to where I was or what happened in that present moment. And I just, you know, I put every, all the energy that I had into that. And a lot of the times when I really played my best poker, it was times where you know, back against the wall, maybe none of the money was a lot of my big wins. It's like none of the money even went to me. Actually, 
it was just like getting out of, of sh shitty situations and then just i mean then things went really well where i just want i barely played and just won everything i just so in 2017 like when this happened um so this was at like the end of the year i think i'm i think i made some money from this actually personally but i i was i won the most money in 2017 and before this tournament uh, out of all the wins that I had, I barely got any of it. I might have gotten some in Monte Carlo actually too, because earlier in this year, I won the 100K in Monte Carlo. I might have saw a little bit of money in that. But before then, like in uh, in the PCA that year, I won the the 50K, the 25K final table, the other 25K final table, the 100K uh I forget what else. I just, I won ev like everything really that year just to get myself out of that bad spot and kind of just have a little bit of air to breathe by the end of 17. And then uh, in 18, I have my only losing year ever. Wow. Where uh, I was losing. Well, I guess. So then when I, after I won this tournament, it was the last tournament that uh, I had a deal with the person who was taking me because I, in reality, I just wanted to get away as quick as I possibly could where, you know, at this time I didn't have much of a role. So I needed to be put in these tournaments, of course. So, but as soon as I could get out and get a new deal from someone else. Uh, th so this was the last tournament of that actually. So then after this tournament, I started getting staked by someone else. And uh, from, so from, this was in, I guess, September of 17 to January of 19, I went on my worst losing streak where I just, I had so many 10th place, uh, ten, like, you know, so many 7th through 13th places, not necessarily that I played poorly, just the right situations just weren't coming up. Uh, and I guess it just wasn't the right time or, you know, I just think that everything happens for a reason. So, you know, it being the first losing year that I had, it's, I feel like it set up everything that happened afterwards because so in the start, of, since I was losing and was in a bunch of makeup and since I have a expensive lifestyle also, so by the beginning of 19, I was in three and a half million in makeup and wow. must have owed like 500 K to a million dollars on the side. It was probably more like a million dollars or so. And um, the person who was taking me actually, they, they, they said that uh, they were willing to cancel the deal and just to start over because they felt like the amount that I was down was like an insurmountable amount of money. But um, the thing is for me, my word and making a fair deal for everyone, I don't care how rich anyone is, are really the most important things to me. So if someone invests in me and I have a big losing year in one year when the stakes are high anyway. I mean, I was in Asia playing 300K buy-ins, 100K buy-ins to lose like 3.5 million it isn't even crazy over a year span or so, a year and a quarter span or so at those stakes. And really, I just couldn't accept that. So before they could even get the words out, I said, there's no chance I could accept that. You know, let's just keep the makeup and don't worry, I'm going to be number one in the world again this year.